Once the snake bites you, you must first extract the poison. You then get away from or get rid of the snake. What up, y'all? It's the answer. We back with another one. In this episode, we got WAC 100 breaking it down to DJ Toom. DJ Toom discovered T.I. in the mid-2000s. He's explaining why the Big U situation can't be fixed, how he got backdoored, and what role Hassan Campbell played in it. Let's get to the clip. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get it. That, 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 that shit gets in the way. Well, of nah, well, you got to understand, guy. like, listen, let me tell you what I understand. Hassan, whatever his name, Hussan, Hassan Campbell, like, watching dude, dude's whole mission Huh? The dude's whole mission, right? Mm -hmm. He don't like the West Coast at all anyway. He okay. real slick at what he's doing. So he really wanted any type of anything that's united, that's the strength of this, he on a mission to destroy that anyway. So you can't let Period. that nigga win. See, I don't even... The that's fact his that mission. Now, Wack, one thing about Wack, one thing about Wack, me and Big U complimented each other in our own way. Some yeah. shit I was stronger that than him. Some shit was stronger that than me, right? Yeah. So, you know, at the end of the day, both of us are capable of going on and doing what we gonna do. What I like to share, a lot of big things is about to go on with the overall family. Most definitely, I can't stop and focus on, yo, we gotta make this right, make this right. When the motherfucker attitude is, let's keep it wrong. That's cool. I ain't tripping. I'm going to respect your space. You're going to respect mine. Until that's changed, I'm not tripping. Now, you I'm know that you, I ain't the one issuing all the threats. I'm watching you. it. I got you. But I'm going to tell you, though. I'm watching it, but, you know, and I'm not going to issue a threat because what it is, nah, nah, is his ego it. involved. It's his ego involved based on people asking, yo, what's up? Why y'all yeah. don't fuck around? And he ain't going to never tell nobody what it is. Right. Because the side, you know, the, the, the wrong shit is on his side. You know what okay. I mean? So Real quick, Wack going to break it down a little bit further as we listen. But y'all remember when he was telling Hassan and Hassan recorded it and then released it about Big U, he gave you some insight. Let's listen to that recording and then we'll get back to uh, Wack explaining the tomb exactly what went on. Okay, so what I'm getting to, dog, is the true. When you, when I, I'm, I'm, and I don't want to get, I don't want to get, I wanna turn this to a whole, to, to, to a whole nother type of um, um, room. But man, when you think about energy, dog, all this internet, even over the phone, all that shit there gets in the way of what gonna really happen if when you and that nigga eyes meet each other in the same room. Man, you wouldn't believe how so much shit would dissipate, bro. When y'all niggas see each other, well, however you were feeling, I don't, man, that shouldn't happen with me and some. No, niggas this was really crazy, bro. This was crazy. About six months ago, Gillian Wallow had a show out here in L.A., right? Yeah, I, I saw that so, interview. I saw all that shit. So they invited me to the show and invited Big U to the show, right? Mm -hmm. I think they did it on purpose, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm already back there. I'm just back there with one of my men. When he showed up, he had one of his men with him, right? So we back in like an hour and a half. Neither one of us said nothing to each other. Right. So, so you know, uh, we respect each other's space, and it's and but we know each other's capabilities as well. So, if he niggas ain't tripping like that, I know I'm not. I'm not tripping, but I don't. I don't. I don't trip because I stay ready to trip anyway. So my tripping. It's spontaneous if that's what it gotta be. But with him, my mind ain't on Steam, they ain't go get it. Yeah, but and I, I think some ego shit is going on. I can't front. 
I think there's a little hating going on because everybody went their own way. <clears throat> and the internet shows your growth if you displaying it on the on the you know on the internet. And that's just what that is, bro. Man, y'all whatever y'all do, bro. Do bro, not, look at it. I didn't, bro, he got mad. Niggas, Listen, bro. Y'all the nigga got mad at CJ Mac and Dub C for having me on the show. I've been knowing these niggas 25 years. What you talking about right now? So so that's what I'm saying. So you see how you still got to mention other people? This shit is really about you and him. See, it's the I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is the y'all letting the powers of the other motherfuckers. No, I ain't mad that he went on no show. But that's what's creating the shit, though. I'm telling you. I'm not tripping that he went. I don't trip who he interviewed with. I don't trip. I got niggas you. gonna do shit intentionally thinking they gonna get a run. Bro, right. it, it wasn't about big you and Jim Jones ain't never fuck with each other. Right. Jim ain't never reached a Nipsey for a song. Them niggas ain't never hung out. They don't even fuck with each other. Mm -hmm. Soon as the Jim Jones shit kicked. He go to New York and walk around with Jim Jones. I knew what that was supposed to do. Mm. I didn't give a fuck one way or another, but it's like niggas is doing little petty shit that's petty to me. Yeah. But I go do it, uh, sit down with some niggas that I did not meet through you. Some niggas I've been knowing longer. I've been knowing Dub longer than him. And you mad because they Crips and they did an interview with Wack? Let's keep it real. Your interview been up three weeks. It got 22,000 views. My shit been up 12 hours. That motherfucker damn near 300,000. Didn't they say they supposed to interview Wack? Mm. Just keep it real. Yeah. Check your numbers. Numbers don't lie. So for you to be mad at them, I was like, come on, my nigga. That shit kind of petty. Let them niggas, they got a brand new podcast. I'm one of the hottest topics Right on the net, niggas. Niggas call me all the time. Yo, whack man. If you don't interview that nigga, go get your interview from that nigga. Don't worry about what me and him going through. Do your shit. Right. Well, I, I, promise, I, uh, I can almost bet, bro. You and that nigga there was to be in a room with none of your niggas and none of his niggas around. I bet you, man, that should be a whole nother thing, man. Once y'all niggas talk for at least 15, 20 minutes. Uh, uh, you know, no, he, no, he don't listen. Know. I don't you think don't you know. really know what no, 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 no. I, I hear you. Rip. I got you. It, what? Just, it's a it ain't about me all. knowing what happens. Shit happens with a lot of niggas that can be fixed. <laughs> I hear you. I, I don't have to know what happened. Whatever it is, all I know in is in order for you to say it can family. be fixed, you gotta know what happened. You gotta know before you no, say it. Exactly. Bro, you no, know bro. bro. Y'all trying to tell me that this is y'all trying to tell me that 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 it's impossible. Y'all are y'all trying to say that that's some impossible uh, shit to I'm fix? Saying, nothing's impossible, tell but what you gotta know what happened. What well, let no on. well, well, no. Well, well, we need to let Wax say, hey man, Toop, that shit is impossible. No, Toop, Toop, let me give it to you, Toop. Well, you had that pub deal at back in the day. That I remember you got a crazy pub deal back in the day. Oh, uh, that was with EMI. Okay, you're at EMI, right? Boom. I'm fucking with you every day. You, I'm your man, right? Mm -hmm. Boom, right? All right. Next thing you know, EMI call you and say, yo, Wack just left. We sent him on his way. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, he had... He had Jazzy Faye on the phone, and Jazzy Faye telling us to go ahead on and disassociate with you and go ahead on and what you do with uh Tunk, do it with Wack. So you sit back and you wait. you like, fuck it. I know Jazzy Faye. That ain't my nigga like that anyway. I ain't no loyalty there, but Wack, my nigga. This my everyday nigga. I didn't did this, did this. So you wait a whole week. You say, Wack, what up, my nigga? You really went up in my building and... That conversation happened? Oh, no, I didn't say that. Jazzy Face said that. Yeah, but if Jazzy Face said that, cut my throat for you to take over my shit, why wouldn't you tell me? Mm hmm Right? right. At that point in time, you may say, whack my nigga, but I know I, yo, it's cool, bro. I smack my nigga, but guess what? I know I can't trust him like that, so it's going to be respectful, but I'm going I'm to keep him out of distance. So it, it can never go back to that. Because, you know, once the snake bites you, you must first extract the poison. You then get away from or get rid of the snake. You, you stay in there dancing, that next blow might, might be fatal. 
But long so, as you and that snake is in the same circle, it's a 90% chance that y'all gonna meet again and may have to do business together and shit can be fixed. Well, see, on my side of it, right, a lot of my business and a lot of other people business was spinning off of my business. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I didn't I'm I didn't handicap myself when it comes to business. Um I may have lost a few comrades and they resources, but all that do is it make you pick up your other ones that was by the wayside and pull them up anyway. So you know I'm one of them dudes I got a reserve on a reserve on a reserve anyway when it comes to that type of shit. But the trust factor was fucked up because I couldn't understand what that was about. Like, God okay. damn, nigga, like, you know, what was, nigga, you for real? Like, that, you really did that? Okay, okay, uh, okay, yeah, and, so, and boom. And like, but it and wasn't like no, said, what, one of those things to where, you know, oh, it's on when I, because I told him, I, you know me, I told him, nigga, hey, nigga, whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you even, you know, Tom, you can't go fucking with Alec Grum Black by Whack. That's crazy. That ain't going to work. I can't Everybody, you can't go over there talking to Alan Grum Black about no Whack 100, bro. That's, everybody right. know that. That's, Right. That's my build. You know what I'm saying? So, right. And, right. and, you know, so at the end of the day, one thing about this music game, and you know, it's it's a small percentage of those to where your relationship ain't affected by what you doing based on what they think you're supposed okay. to be doing for them. Okay. Well, 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 let me, let me reiterate when I say fix it. When I say fix it, I'm speaking of just dissipating wherever, how much yep. further this shit can go more than y'all niggas hugging and making friends. I'm just saying, let's dissipate whatever limits that this shit may push niggas to where it turned to something else. Yo, no, like I you get said, that. What you saying that's is... That's I'm at, really. More than, yeah, than y'all niggas saying, hugging what and you making saying friends, is I'm this. speaking of... Let's cut. We don't want nah, this because you no really dealing with that. two niggas, too, that that can flip the whole motherfucking industry upside down if it go bad. You're right. This shit yeah. and, 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 and it's all already, crazy shit. It's them niggas who already think that's the way to fix shit right now anyway. And it's bad, bro. And to see some grown niggas to, to, to take it that far. See, more, more, like I say, more than y'all, me saying, hey, man, y'all you, you should get back cool. I'm speaking of, all right, how can we stop this shit from going any further? Especially when you got these middlemen, motherfuckers playing shit back with you know well you gotta remember to too but i don't think that energy on my side i was asked a question yeah. i answered it honestly i didn't let my ego get in the way of my answer yeah and all i said was yeah i miss his family you know what i'm saying no 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 and, and that's real and shit. from that I'll, and from that and that, right and that don't mean that you're trying to be cool you're just speaking the real thing like yeah you know, but, but from side. that came a whole nother campaign well, don't look like Wack and Big U is going to be the best of friends ever again. They've had like damn near a 20-year relationship. But it looks like some things can't be mended. But uh, salute to DJ Toon for trying to keep it out of the streets and just keep it all business. And just agree to disagree and move on. It's the answer. We signing out. Until next time.